Good morning, replay viewers. Thank you for joining us so early. I know it's, you're probably not even into that first cup of coffee yet, right? That's okay though, that's all right. I just wanted to leave this on here real quick. Um, Evan, what's going on, buddy? For all you replay viewers, you get a quick shot. Skills, Jason, what's happening, man? So let's, Caleb, did I see Caleb jump in? I'm glad Caleb's here, Caleb's there. I don't know if he's listening or not, but <laughs> I know he's here. So let's talk about the elephant in the room, guys. Are you ready? Hey, Josh. How are you? Looking forward to dinner on Saturday. Um, so here's the elephant in the room. Awesome, Kevin. Uh, Kevin. Evan. I saw the K in there. <laughs> With you in spirit. Cool. So uh, the elephant in the room is this. It's not about how much money you make. It's about how you make your money and why you make your money or the purpose behind you making money. That's it. That's all there is. A lot of guys on here, um, I don't mean on Periscope, but in landscaping and lawn care, get, get this big head about how much money you make. And that's not the point here at all. If you are making $100,000 but you're miserable and you could go make 75 and you're, I mean, through the roof ecstatic, why don't you go make that? That doesn't make sense to me. I, I, I just can't, I can't understand. So the thought of the day today is, <laughs> it's all relative, it's all relative, Evan. And so, you know, there are a lot of people that make 50, 60, $70,000 that are thrilled to be making that kind of money. And they have a great life because of it. You know, there's not, it's so much deeper. Once you've had money, you'll understand. Once you've lost money, you'll understand even greater. What's up, Scott? How's it going? Let me give a couple shout outs real quick. Village Lawn, Dan, what's up, man? Scott, NJA, Brad, ICT, how you doing? Cool, okay. Wow, this is a lot more people than I thought we'd get on an early, early morning scope like this. And they love what they're doing. That's the most important thing. Do not compare. Don't. Don't compare yourself to anyone else. Don't. Let me let me show you something. <laughs> You're in school? Cool. Set that alarm. Let me show you something. Okay? Are you guys ready? Everyone thinks that this car represents me or um, is who I am. That is a toy. <laughs> That's just like your video games. That's just like your truck, that's just like your mower, that's just like your cooler that you love, that's just like, I mean, it is all stuff, it doesn't matter. And you know what? If my business fell out tomorrow and all of my customers called me and canceled on me, do you know what would happen to that car? Bye bye Why? Because I wanna feed my family, that's why. Like. There's so many guys that get this whole thing mixed up. It's not about money. I've had no money before and I've had tons of money before. And neither one of those made me happy. What made me happy is getting up every morning and doing exactly what I loved. Money is just the byproduct of it. And if you miss that, if you can't get that, I feel bad for you. And I want you to Snapchat me and tell me why it is that way for you because when you've had no money, you don't know. You've never tasted. When you've had it, you've tasted. And then you lose it? I'm telling you, man, I hope this inspires someone today because I got up this morning with a real frustration that a lot of people get enamored with the amount of money that you have to make or the margins or the revenue. It's not about that at all. I appreciate that. I saw that truth comment. I'm sorry. I'm just a little fired up this morning because this just really frustrates me. Other small business owners comparing themselves to, to everyone else. Who cares? No one. No one cares. It doesn't mean a thing. Caleb, it doesn't mean a thing. That's just it. Like, everyone thinks that the revenue is the number. No. If you made a million dollars, cool. But if you spent a million dollars, you didn't make any money. Go figure. Go freaking figure. Like, so if you made half a million dollars, but you profited a hundred thousand, 
That in business terms is what we call a 20% profit. That's fantastic in most businesses, by the way, but figure out you figure out what you want to do, because if you get into this comparison game, I'll tell you exactly where you're going to end up frustrated, pissed off, angry. It's not going to be good. I do too, Josh. I do too. But see, this is, this is the problem. Everyone wants it and no one wants to work for it. <laughs> Evan, I'll give you some real talk. I don't share a whole lot about my family on social media, but I'll give you a little bit here. Uh, I live in a, I, I would call it a small home for our neighborhood. It's 3,800 square feet. There are 10,000 square foot homes in this neighborhood. There are 1,300 square foot homes in this neighborhood, but we're on the lower, if we're a class, we're in the lower middle class in this neighborhood. <laughs> however, however, we live among a ton of entrepreneurs, a lot, a lot of small business owners, a lot of attorneys, a lot of tax people, a lot of bankers, and all of them, because I'm the president of our HOA, understand that it is not about how much money you make at all. Some of them are leveraged beyond their nose. That's exactly right, Evan. That's exactly right. <laughs> Caleb's always upper middle class, no matter where he goes. And that's just it. It's all relative. If you look at my business and my revenue, you may go, wow, that's amazing. It's really not. I'm not satisfied. We should do twice that this year. <laughs> Figure out what you want and then go and get it. But do not compare yourself to someone else. That's it. That's all there is. Caleb, I want to make sure that I give you as many shout outs as possible because apparently I'm not doing it enough. Steels, you and I are going to have to talk offline because I think something else is brewing here that I need to fill you in on. And it's called Atlanta Aeration. <laughs> LaMarche Landscaping will probably tap out between three and 400 is my, is my best guess. He better be, he better be stepping up his game because if he doesn't, I'm gonna call him out on Snapchat. No guys, uh, no, Atlanta Aeration Steel, I think is gonna do some, some pretty incredible things. However, you just added some value to my life because now I gotta call my web developer and see where that website is. So I really appreciate it. Jay Yorty, if you watch this, I'm coming for you. <laughs> just kidding. Do what you do, Caleb. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Caleb, so much for joining us this morning. I know you're still probably putting those kids down to sleep, so I really appreciate it, but don't get it twisted today, guys. It's not about how much, it's about how and why you make the money that you make. Thank you so much for joining us. Have a great day. Josh, we'll see you Saturday. Bye, guys.